Okay, this is me and this is my computer. My computer is the portal by which I interact with the world and it's even the doorway through which I express myself. But I have a problem. It's called information overload. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I need an intermediary between me and my computer. Someone to sift through all this stuff available and bring me what I really want, like, and need. So I decided to create some virtual helpers. They're based on three simple principles. The first is that we have a limited short-term memory of seven items. The second is that our decisions are often emotionally based. We make them with our heart and not our head, although we pretend they come out of our head. The third principle is that we have a limited multitasking ability. All the studies show that people think they can handle more than they actually are capable of. My first helper I'll call Mom. I know I can trust her and she'll have my best interest at heart. She's a helper. She'll find things I like and bring them back to me. Every once in a while she might even say, What the hell's the matter with you, boy? Sometimes I need that and even like it. So Mom goes out in the world of consumer goods, apps, software, hardware, and brings me all the stuff back based on what I would like. And I know how she'll do it. Mom's a known quantity. My second helper of my seven, I'll call Delmont. He's an expert in knowledge and information. Delmont can go out in the world, out into the internet, probably in seven areas and collect this stuff, filter it, and bring it back to me. The next helper I'll call Claude. Now Claude's a chooser. He chooses things. I'm a lousy chooser. I want Claude to go out and find Val, one of seven other helpers. He goes out, finds her, and brings me the best choices. And if I like Val better than Claude, I can bring her here and she becomes my chooser. Now I also need a buyer. This is Amy. I need someone to go out there and buy that stuff and bring it back to me. I hate shopping. Other people may love it, but I don't. Here, let's put some money in her wallet. My fifth helper is Weldon. Now Weldon handles money and financial resources. My bank accounts, how much I spend, how much I make. He has the connections to all the banks, the investment houses, and the ability to manage my finances. He brings back to me what I need. He even has access to these very strange creatures called venture capitalists. They hide out here and he can connect me to them. Now the next one is Sheila. Sheila is a manager. She manages all that electronic stuff that is out there. She takes all that email, the Facebook, the Twitter, the, all the messages, all the stuff coming in that's getting more and more every day, and she filters it and gives the best back to me. The last helper I need is Ruth. I have a problem with relationships. I need someone to help me with what I need to say and how I need to deal with all these people. She'll help me with my communication. The reason she's wearing all weather boots is I need Ruth pretty well on call all the time. So I need these seven people to be intermediaries between me and my computer. Let's bring them all in. We'll call them gophers. Yeah, I know it's not usually spelled that way. Here's a little gopher called Mary Sue. Isn't she cute? Maybe these little gophers will someday replace Apple and Google. Wouldn't that be something? Well, I'm Kurt Hanks, and this is a Rapid Visual. Thank you.